For moviegoers, it provides one last look at a brilliant character actor, Peter Sellers, who died this summer at the age of 54, leaving behind a legacy of some 52 movies. What was he like as a man? I'm a very sensitive person. A very private person. Tonight on Evening Magazine, we'll show you a rare interview, an unusual talk I had with Peter Sellers just a year before his death. You know, Peter Sellers once said that he felt he immersed himself so thoroughly in his movie characters that he didn't feel he had a personality of his own. Well, I'm not sure that's true because I sat down and had a talk with Peter Sellers about a year before his death in France. And in showing you the story one more time, I think you'll agree that Peter Sellers was definitely his own man. <laughs> Let's talk about how you got started in your acting career. Well, my mother and my father were both in the theatrical profession. My grandmother also, uh, she was in those days what you might call a producer. Uh, so I've been in the theater, well, connected with the theater ever since I can remember. My mother used to say to me, uh, when I first started doing small jobs, such as tearing up tickets and sweeping out, and never ask a man to do a job that you cannot do yourself, and I never have. At age 54, this British-born actor has starred in many hit movies, like this one, After the Fox. As well as Dr. Strangelove, Murder by Death, and Prisoner of Zenda. But he's best known for his four Pink Panther films, where he plays the role of a charming, bumbling French detective, Inspector Clouseau. Inspector Clouseau is based on a French concierge in Paris. French concierge. A concierge in Paris. Who I met once. I witnessed once. Sellers calls himself a character actor. He often relies on disguises, mustaches, beards, and accents to draw a laugh. I know there are films that uh, people make that uh, give, as Terry Southern say, cause for pause. But I, uh, I like satire. I like satire. I like people to laugh. I like people to think. There has been a change in the plans. The fox is out of the tree. We are taking the gold of Cairo job. Now tell the contact to meet me 8 o'clock at the Grotta Rossa tomorrow night. Understood? What? Oh. All right. You tell your papa the message I give now when he come in. Yes? Good. <laughs> Bye. His screen acting may be somewhat slapstick, but in real life, Peter Sellers has a gallows sense of humor. That is why I find that I'm such a disappointment socially. People ask me along to parties and expect me to sing for my supper, but I won't, you see. Do you go to the parties? Occasionally. I remember I sat next to a man once at a party in Eaton Square who said, um, he said, uh, do you have a real job apart from what you do? So I said, yes, I do. It's very straight faced because I love putting people on. I said, yes, on the side I do abortions. <laughs> he said, you don't really do. I said, yes, I do. I have to make a living, you know. <laughs> he said, good Lord. Do you think that most comedians, although they're, they're very funny on screen, are, are serious people? All humorists and, and comics are serious people. It is one of the most difficult things to do. And you'll find that most uh, character comedy actors are very, very uh, complex people and sometimes very sad people. I'm a very sensitive person. I'm a very private person. To meet me, you would never guess I was anything to do with comedy, or acting, or theater, or anything. I never talk about it, except to my friends when we're working. 
Are you a hard worker? When I work, I work 100%. And when you play, what do you do? All kinds of things. I'm a professional photographer. You are. In other words, I work for magazines. I'm an amateur photographer. In other words, I work for myself. Uh, let's think. I'm a serious high fidelity enthusiast. Uh, and I also uh, enjoy cars very much. Mr. Sellers, I know you've had several heart attacks. What effect does a serious illness have on the, on the way you lead your life? Well, of course, it has a tremendous psychological effect. It makes you think about a lot of things. Yes, but especially when you had eight in a row like I did. And the last one was up to nearly the maximum time, nearly three minutes. Had it gone over that time, there would be no point in my living, you know. And we became a vegetable, would have become a vegetable. I, I remember very little of it. Very little of it. Did it turn your thinking around? I mean, uh, it sounds trite, but uh, make you appreciate life more? No. No? No. I just think that uh, it wasn't my time. Peter Sellers had time to contemplate his death. Just